I'm Diego. We are your anchors, and we're here with this week's Tiger News. First up on Monday, we'll have a Zoom assembly from 8.05 to 8.25 a.m. about our new character trait of the month. The assembly will also honor those Tigers who practice our December character trait grouted. For now, please sit back and enjoy this student-made video spotlighting our January trait optimism. All right, students, it is time for our math test. Oh no, the math test. I wonder if I'm ready. Of course you're not. You missed one question at the homework yesterday. You're going to fail. Oh no. Don't listen to that negative critic. Be optimistic. Think positive. You're ready. Don't listen to that positive coach. Just think about what will happen if you fail and you may be stuck in elementary school forever. <laughs> forever? Thinking negative never helps. You know to try your best and you study. Yeah, that's right. Well, uh, uh, your shirt's gray. That doesn't even deal with the test. You're right, coach. I'm going to be optimistic and not think negative. Get out of here, negative critic. No! Remember, students, here at Bell Avenue, we like to think positive. <laughs> you get a math test. You get a math test. You get a math test. Everybody gets a math test. Applause all around for that incredible video. I'm optimistic that we'll work, all work to look on the brighter side of things. Next up, please welcome our classroom foodie with this week's lunch updates. Fellow foodies, Addison here, your substitute food here. On Monday, lunch will include corn dogs. On Tuesday, we'll enjoy barbecue chicken and mashed potatoes. On Wednesday, lunch will be teriyaki rice bowl. On Thursday, lunch will feature homemade baked mazzini. On Friday, we'll have bean and cheese pusa. Is anyone else getting hungry? And now, welcome our mission reporter. Hi everyone, Kleena here. Last week we had pineapple. It got its name from Europeans who thought it looked like a large pine cone and the word apple was added so people would know it's good to eat. Pineapples can take up to two years to grow. Most of the world's pineapples are grown in Southeast Asia. Mandarins. Cuties and hilos are two names for the same orange. Seedless Seedless mandarins are juicy and syrupy sweet. Mandarins are mostly grown in California. Jicama. Jicama is also known as a Mexican potato or Chinese turnip. Jicama is the root of the vine that can grow up to 20 feet. Jicama is crunchy, sweet, and juicy, and it doesn't need to be refrigerated. The more you know! I wonder what other veggies have multiple no names. Now let's check out our student art showcase. Now let's hear it to our master of humor. 
Hey everyone, live Fry, your master of humor, subbing for Layla. What do you call a witch who's at the beach? A sandwich. <laughs> what do you call a bug that jumps over cups? A glass hopper. Where do ducks go when they're sick? The duck tour. And we here hope none of you need to pay a visit to the duck tour this winter season. Let's welcome our weatherly portal. Well, hello everyone, and Marcos here, your weather reporter, substituting for Sunny. Let's look at the weather outside of our windows. This week brings chills and small chances of showers. We'll see low temperatures in the 30s and high in the 60s. Remember to stay warm and cozy with a sweater or a jacket. I guess the chilly weather is here to stay. And now let's welcome our birthday reporter. I'm Miss Janice, substituting for Alexis, and here are our birthdays for this week. In sixth grade, Simon Tell. Also in sixth grade, Ulysses Balderas Lopez. In sixth grade, RJ Carnellison. And also in sixth grade, Antonio Ruiz. In fifth grade, Kyle Wagner. In fourth grade, Lavinia Tabu. In fourth grade, Marlene Rico. In third grade, Elena Anderson. In kindergarten, Adeline Stetsenko. And in SDC, Niall Watson. Happy birthday! We at Tiger News wish you all a very happy birthday. Well, folks, that in concludes this week's episode of the Tiger News. We'll see you again next week. Make, Make it, it a, a great, great day, day or not. not students, the choice, the is, choice yours. is yours.